Doesn't this just make you happy, boys? It's December. It's the best time of the year. The Christmas tree is in the set, and we have a new friend. I would like to introduce everyone to Belobius. Belobius, great guy. Uh, he's a little racist, uh, but who is it? Especially if you get a few drinks in him. You know, he'll say some questionable stuff. But here's the thing, it's not his fault. It's just the environment he grew up in. And one thing I'm never gonna do in this channel is discriminate someone because of the environment they grew up in. So if I wanna be equitable and fair, and I wanna treat everyone with the same respect, then I have to honor Belobius for who he is. So Belobius, we, sta we stand with you, Belobius. I stand with Belobius. Not to mention, can we all have a moment of silence for my incredible editor, Ty? Because we will be posting Wheel of Mutt every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday for the month of December. Ty, we love you. We know you're about to work your butt off. In the arms of the angel. Let's have an amazing season, boys. We're rocking an 85 overall team and a 2-0 record. And the captain of this team, Johnny Manziel, I would say he's on the hot seat today. I'm starting to get a little spoiled where I want a hot route master quarterback. And Johnny Football missed some passes last week. Is this our guy for all of December? Maybe. Guess we're gonna find out. We recently got Devin A. Chain. I think he's gonna be our franchise running back for this season. We've got Jamar, OBJ, and Zay Flowers. A little Ravens wide receiver core. We got Gronk, of course. And our offensive line's honestly looking pretty good. We got to add David DeCastro last episode. And defensively, we have a huge drought. I made mean, a linebacker. I need to get a lurk artist today so badly. We've got solid DBs. We got Paul Krause. And then our defensive line is atrocious. Without further ado, let's get our first wheel spin here and see what we can do. All right, boys, the first spin with the Christmas set. It's gotta be amazing, right? Cover athlete low. Okay, it says low, but it's either a 92 or a 93. If you guys saw the cover athlete promo, it was a shameless cash grab from EA. There's only literally one way to get these cards and that was in packs. And they dropped a pack that like gave you a maybe chance to get them. It was egregiously greedy. But here's what it gave us. It gave us a 92 Marshall Falk or a 92 Ray Lewis. Now there are the limiteds, which are the 93s, but this wheel spin only gives me an option of the lows. They drop this promo every week. So in the future, there's going to be a lot more to choose from. But right now, my options are only two. It's either 92 Marshall Folk, who's an amazing halfback, but I have a chain, or it's the exact position that I need, which is a Lurk Artist middle linebacker. Ray Lewis happens to be that. Ray Lewis also happens to be absurd. This card's so good. 93 block shed, 95 hit power. He even has 90 zone coverage. He has 90 speed. Let's get the best price on him, which is, looks like a million flat. You know, I gotta say, the promo idea, awesome. You know, giving us legendary cover athlete players, but the execution, it was very EA-esque. We don't ask those questions in Wheel of Mud. In Wheel of Mud, we just stick the players in our lineup and we get after it. So, Owusu Karamoa, love you, buddy. It's Ray Lewis's turn. I'll also give him Crusher. On top of being an insane card, also has, and I cannot believe this, he has Avalanche, which starts the game activated and you get six plays of it. For those of you who don't know, Avalanche guarantees a fumble if you get a clean hit stick on somebody. It's such an overpowered ability. I cannot believe that they did this. I'm also gonna take Crusher off of Paul Kraus, and then I'm gonna take Lumberjack off of Kair Elam, so that way we can run Paul Kraus with a deep end zone KO. This game has instantly become a must win or a must complete the challenge wheel because this 92 Ray Lewis is on the line. This is exactly what my team needs, so we have to complete the challenge wheel or win the game or do both to keep this Ray Lewis, so this is a very important game. And that was only the very first wheel spin of this episode. I still could use a second mid linebacker or another outside linebacker. Okay, I'm pretty much guaranteed an elite player. Those mystery packs are a lot better than they used to be. But really, this is just a mystery pack. I'll definitely take this. Best case scenario is an outside linebacker. I still have Jamin Davis as an outside linebacker. We get a Legends pack. Just not Demarcus Ware. Demarcus Ware would be the worst folks. because I already have him. And Paul Krause. I already have him. Shit. Okay, next Legend player, Bruce Smith. He will go on the lineup. Vince Wilfork also. That's actually a huge bull right there. The Vince Wilfork is big. Smith we won't use, but both of these guys will use. So potentially a pack a bunch in the future could give me 92 overall Vince Wilford. That'd be really nice. But as it stands, I have Silvers at D-Tackle. So both of those guys are going to come in and be very impactful on this team. Lots of defense today. So D-Tackle 1 is going to be Vince Wilford. And then I'm actually going to take Demarcus Ware out. And I'm going to put in that 80-81 Bruce Smith. You guys know I love Bruce Smith. I don't got to say it again. At left outside linebacker, instead of Jamin Davis, I will move the 82 Demarcus Ware. And then as my backup middle linebacker, I'm going to put Jeremiah Owusu-Karamoa. That's looking a lot better. That takes us up to an 86 overall. Not the best spin, but honestly, getting 83 Wilford is nice. This is our third and final wheel spin of the episode. Lots of defense. Will this be offense? Potentially. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh. I love this one. All Madden 88, but we can get the 91 if we win. Gosh, there's so many good options, but I'm gonna take something weird here. This might be the last player you guys expected, but I wanna throw a curveball at you. So I'm gonna get 88 Greg Olson, and if we can win this game, I'll get 91 Greg Olson. I, I really do love the Gronk. It was a good prestige, but just comparing these guys head to head, that Gronk is starting to fall off a little bit. Look at how much better this Greg Olson is. Four more speed, four more catching, four more catching traffic. He's not built to block, but he is built to catch. I'm gonna go Greg Olson. There were certainly some good defensive options, but I, I added so much to the defense there. I think it was time to go with somebody different. Go Greg Olson. This position only. I still want Ingold at fullback. So I've got a little double tight end thing going here. So offensively, only addition is Greg Olson, but on defense, we add Vince Wilford, Bruce Smith, and most importantly, we add this Ray Lewis, who I cannot wait to use her. All right, boys. Crucial game, 2-0. Oh. Cannot forget about the challenge wheel. Challenge wheel is so big here. If I... If I lose and complete the challenge wheel, I can keep Ray Lewis. Patrick, three separate players. Okay. We need at least three touchdowns, and each touchdown has to come from a different player. Opponents got Randy Moss, DRC, and Ronnie Locke. Kid Ramsey. Does Jalen Ramsey have a son? Does Jalen Ramsey have a son? In July 2018, Jalen Ramsey and Brianna Tate, the younger sister of retired wide receiver Golden Tate, had a daughter. And then a second daughter. Wait, Jalen Ramsey is dating Golden Tate's younger sister? Did Golden Tate and Jalen Ramsey ever play each other? That must have been a fucking battle. He's banging his sister? Shit. Ray Ray Lewis, we need a huge game out of you. He's gonna start out passing. I fucking dare you. Goes Barry Sanders, first and 10. Love the Krause user. Ooh, very nice ball into Kelsey. He's hoping for a bigger hit. Damn, he's moving down the field. Yo, he rolls out so fast. Getting tore up by tight end attack. Sit down in the middle. Oh, risky ass pass. Kyer Elam almost had it. He does hand this off. Got to make a big. Nope. I was just about to switch on to try and make that tackle. That was, uh, honestly, that was just really good offense. He made one really risky throw, though. I hope he makes another throw like that. That's why I love Johnny Football right there. Hand off A chain. Lots of room to work with. It's his own. Beautiful, beautiful. Jamar Chase. I want to score and I want to score quick. I need three touchdowns this game for that challenge. Sends Zay Flowers underneath so that he's got to make a decision with that user. Oh, that's a risky ass ball. He doesn't animate. Oh my God, I'm so bailed out. That was a bad ball. He stepped up with J. Ron Curse and he doesn't animate. We need to keep track of that though. My first touchdown just went to Jamar Chase. No matter how shitty that touchdown was. The first touchdown went to Jamar Chase. First and 10. This is still tight end attack, so he can keep throwing that check down to Barry. Dude, is he really just gonna go? I think I know how to stop this. Oh, dude. Fucking dude. Oh, that's such a bad pass. And Paul Krause is right there. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That was really good defense. Can't be mad about that. Mmm, huge hit. Derwin James on Amon Ra. It off, but we stuffed it anyway. Fourth and one. Game changing stop right here if we can get it. Fourth and one. I kind of want to fake the blitz. Fourth and one, boys. Doesn't hand it off. It is a pass. I follow it. Yes. Ray Lewis. Lurk. He threw it before. Big joke. That's why we got the Ray Lewis. Seven to seven. A massive stop. First and ten. Oh, Johnny. Terminator's fucking fast. I need that dude. I need that Aaron Donald on my team, bro. He's so good. Can't forget about the boy A-Chain. Beautiful A-Chain. Great juke. No fucking way A-Chain. <laughs> he has to well. That boy's fast. They can go to anybody but Jamar here. Okay. Oh my God. A-Chain is just bouncing tackles. I don't even know if I read this. I think I just inside zone this. Oh, you're not in. I thought for sure he was in. Oh, Johnny Football read option. Oh my God, Johnny Football. All right, you know what? Johnny's playing good now all of a sudden. I don't want to I don't wanna swap him out anymore. 14 to seven, really good start to this game. All right, he's back in this set. He's going to go tight end attack. I have it QB contained and I'm Tampa too, so we can't throw underneath to Barry. And I'm not going to let him throw high to his tight end. Oh, that's risky. About to say, that's a risky throw. Okay, nice play. Go low on him. Kair Elam has been nothing short of spectacular for this team so far, man. Just continue to be okay. I'm gonna fly over to Ricky. 
Yup. Let's go. A gain of nothing. I think he's trying to chew the clock because he knows I get ball I have. I'm gonna, I'll use my timeouts if I get a stop here. Okay, goes Ricky again. Third and eight, I'm calling the timeout. I guess I'm staying in double mug. I can't believe this is my best defense in this formation, but I guess it is. Shit, I'm on Tillman and I'm not supposed to be. What a ball, great float. I accidentally got stuck on Tillman there. I was supposed to be on Ray. He's got to score right now. I'm totally fine with that. You have six seconds from the 18. That was clock mismanagement. He 100% should have called a timeout. So it's tight end attack. Oh my God, he's going to hand it off. With one second, dude, he almost didn't have time for the field goal. He's got to be going field goal. All right, 10 to 14 ball a half. That was smart football by him, so I respect it. Look at how dominant the run is. Let me, let me throw a laser beam first. <laughs> OBJ. Johnny football's got fucking room, though. Hey, let's go, Johnny. No, I don't throw that. This is a cross body? No. You, sorry you don't know ball, bud. I should have. You if you not. let me have a moment to shine. <laughs> oh, look at that. No. All right, all right, all right. Now we really got to lock in. Maybe I should have let L throw. Ooh, that's a good throw. It's crazy. A-chain with the fumble. Bro, I don't think I really had a running back fumble all of last season. I'm trying to bait him into throwing this. Ooh, Bruce Smith. Doesn't matter what Bruce Smith card, bro. Just matters that it's Bruce Smith. Second and 22. Ooh, third and 22. Kraus in the man coverage. I'm impressed with the boy. He's not really the not really the man cover guy for us, but he is right now. Unfortunately, I'm on Tillman here. Do not want to be on Tillman. My responsibility is Barry. Oh. Wow, nice pass. Gets it to Kelsey. Yeah, we're gonna have to win this game in spite of EA. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I just had Jamar on what is potentially a touchdown. What? Perfect accuracy out of reach? How? It's perfect accuracy. Gonna go Johnny football, gonna dive forward, make this fourth and two. That was unbelievable. I just fucking had him torched. Perfect accuracy and he can't even touch the ball. Absolutely massive play right here. Risky pass. Bad ball, but it worked. Ooh, it was not a bad ball. I take it back. Johnny football is throwing fucking rockets right now. It's a beautiful run. That's actually the exact amount of yards we wanted, which was barely any of them. Oh, pin pull sweep. You guys remember pin pull sweep from last week? Cutting it back up to his zone. Getting a juke out of eight chain. Keep going in the way we've been going. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in to knock the football. I'm going to go ball carry. Sir. Hand off eight chain. Eight chain up the middle. I'm taking it. I'm taking it for the challenge wheel. I had to think about that for a second. I could have milked more clock for the win, but that's the challenge wheel. I didn't want to mess around with that. So 21 to 17, a minute 20 left. He has all three timeouts. So I don't think, I don't really think clock is of any importance anymore. It's whether I stop him or not, but okay. The challenge is complete. So if we lose, I could salvage Ray Lewis, but I plan to win. This guy is fucking bailed out, man. I turned him over simply by lurking his ass. He got me to fucking fumble, man. That's Bogue. What is this? Out to the 36. Barry Sanders. All right. He could throw Wilson. Ooh. I thought I had numbers for that. Clear. First and 10. That's a risky ball. Oh my God. What a float. That's just a great play, honestly. I will say he might be scoring too quick here if he's going to score right now. I'm going to. Oh, yes. I knew it. No, you're fucking me. I knew exactly what I was doing. I baited it right side. It came back to the sit down. Oh, that is brutal. Damn it. I knew exactly what he was doing. Left side. Yeah. That's so brutal, man. That they don't give me that interception. Oh, I ran commit, but there's a flag. Don't tell me that flag's on me. Oh my fucking God. He's going to take the first goal on the one so we can chew more clock. This is fuck. They all, dude, they literally predetermined that I'm losing this game. This is fuck. So fucking bailed out. Unbelievable. So you, you're hoping that you get in the end zone then with no time left, I take it? What an unbelievable bailout that penalty was. And offsides on who? Gerard Clark for what? That's not my user. I'm not going to run commit. So because of that penalty, he gets to burn an additional timeout off of me. All right, I get 33 seconds in, in two timeouts to score. Come on, press cover, run spinner. 
25 seconds left, calling the timeout. If I'm not gonna get crazy yards, I gotta get out of bounds. Nine seconds, I'm on the 47. Got a, an extra timeout, would be pretty nice here. Okay, best case scenario here, I take Gronk, I put him on a slant, the user follows Gronk, and I can hit Jamar Chase. Oh no, he saw it. Oh, he's ass though. Five seconds. Oh my God, wait a minute. I can send this to fucking OT. What the fuck am I talking about? Why do I think I need a touchdown? I don't. I can kick it and go OT. Holy shit. I just put us in field goal range. I didn't even realize that. I think if I had realized that, I might've fucked that up. I've never missed an ice kick in my life and I'm not gonna lose it to this fucking bum. Let's go. OT. 24 to 24. I don't know what the OT rules are in a Madden head-to-head -head game. Is this playoff OT NFL rules or regular season? Of course he won the toss. You knew he was going to win the fucking toss. Because the, <laughs> I don't know. If he scores here, maybe he wins the game. I really don't know. Let's try and stop him from scoring, and then we don't got to find out. Absolutely nothing. Now he's in tight doubles, which is where he throws underneath. I'm going to try and bait him into throwing... Dude, so why are we, if we're in a Tampa 2, why are we not guarding? I suppose to have a light blue right there. Why the fuck is nobody guarding? Ironically, he ran three plays the entire game. Dive alert, smoke, tight end attack, mesh spot. And we fucking did it! I didn't turn the ball over once. Two lurks with Ray Lewis. An eight chain fumble almost sealed our fate. But with 33 seconds and two timeouts, one rob from an offside, we got in field goal range, buried that shit. He started with the ball and we lurked that shit! This feels so good. You know what's funny is that was a great game and I really should just say GG's and I'm sure he had no ill intent and I'm still gonna send the next time champ. Woo! God, I'm such an asshole. Next time champ. Dude, I I'm not gonna lie though too. Like very early rage quit. I think I was on the 40. So I was, was I already in field goal range? I think I was already in field goal range. I don't really know, but what I do know is we just made a historic fucking W. Put in the history books, boys. There's been a lot of good Wheel of Muck games, but I think we got to make sure that this one is, is somewhere in the top 10, potentially top five, although it is only a regular season game, but it moves us to three and oh, not only do we keep Ray Lewis, but we're going to keep Vince Wilfork. We're going to keep Bruce Smith and super importantly, Greg Olson gets the upgrade now. So let's swap out Greg for Gronk, and then we'll swap out Gronk for really anyone, just so that we can get the 91 Greg in. So the win gets us 91 Greg Olsen. Olsen has tight end apprentice. Oh, that could be really good. Well, I didn't even know that, but that changes a lot, actually. That's really nice, because the one knock I have on, on Johnny Football is he can't put routes on anybody. So Greg Olsen is now in. I'm gonna take post up off of David DeCastro. Hey, Lewis stays in the lineup, which I'm so excited about. I'm not gonna, I know this is early and aggressive, but like, I feel like this should be my prestige. 92 Ray Lewis, Crusher, Lurk Artist, Avalanche, and then if I prestige him, I get the 93 who has a free Lurk Artist. So I'd be guaranteed a middle linebacker, zero AP, and Lurk Artist. Not to mention the 93 gets Avalanche for eight plays, not six. So I, it is so early to say that we're not at the Super Bowl yet, but I'm looking at him for prestige. All right, boys, amazing episode. We added uh, the two new highest overall players to the squad, Greg Olson, Ray Lewis, beefed up the defense a little bit, but most importantly, we got a huge win in overtime. And most importantly, I didn't forget my challenge wheel. I bet she fucking thought I forgot. And I was that close to forgetting and ending this video, but I completed my challenge wheel and I don't need to salvage anybody. So we get one pack from the store. I kind of want to go legends and just try and get a better Vince Wilfork. Honestly, as I'm recording this, not a lot of great stuff in the store. I will. I'm going to rock a Legends pack. Um, I'm looking for a higher overall Vince Wilfork. So Willie Rofe does not. No, I don't think he helps his team. Pat Tillman. I literally already have that Pat Tillman. A headliner. Rashid Shahid. A Legend Carmichael. And Devin Hester. Damn. No, none of these do anything for us, unfortunately. Take the L on the challenge wheel today, but hey, massive W. Gentlemen, a historic wheel of mutt. What a great start to the Christmas season. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!